Welcome, my name is Christoph and you are in the Quick Secure Workshop. Welcome to my channel and uh, we are busy building an antique looking etching press. If you missed uh, the previous episodes and you are interested, go look in the link, uh, uh, the description um, of this video. You can find all the links uh, to the other previous episodes and enjoy watching me work. Um, so today we're going to start uh, working on this chain drive and uh, doing all the, the bits and pieces there and also the making of the wheel, uh, the drive wheel. So sit back and enjoy watching me work.
So what you just saw me doing here is a little bit unorthodox, but hey, it works. So instead of putting a keyway in, and you still have the problem that it can move uh, back and forth, um, and you need a grip screw also. So because I'm using laser cut parts, there's two discs, and I didn't want to drill in this way. So this is a compromise, it's a grip screw that acts as a key and it keeps this in place. It can't come out when that screw is in, but it also can't rotate because this screw is at an angle and it's partly catching on this part and partly catching in the shaft. So this way it's a grip screw acting as a key. It's now time for a short explanation of what I'm busy doing. You just saw me threading this 25 millimeter shaft with a standard plumbing, it's a three quarter inch tool that I've threaded this shaft with in order for this socket, this fitting, that's a standard fitting that I bought from a hardware store. I just threw it in some acid to take all the galvanizing off. And this turns on the shaft like that. And that is a laser cut part. And that is a laser cut part. Um, and I've turned it in all the way so to bottom out to make it straight there. So the idea is um, to weld this here because I'm going to weld this gear to the shaft and then I want to use this thread. This is a M24 and this nut. At the end, when you put your wheel on like this, you turn it on and then a piece of this thread will stick out in the front and you'll just use this nut and tighten it and lock it. Then when you turn it this way, it will lock that way. And if you turn the wheel the other way, it will lock against this nut.
so we came to the end of part seven. Um, this is how far we got. The chain mechanism and everything is done. The cover is on and the wheel is almost done. It's not welded in yet. It's just loose in there. So um, I still need to weld it. But I'm very happy and I hope you enjoy the video. Next week I'm going to do some woodwork. There's little pieces of wood that, that helps to guide the, the bed and this bottom shelf. And then it's just uh, finishing it off. So have a great week and remember to subscribe if you haven't done already. And uh, give me a like. It really helps the algorithm in my favor. Hope you have a great week. Cheers.